Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. Today I wanted to do a fun like end of summer, summer sunset kind of vibe. So if you want to see how I got this look, then just keep on watching. the playing around with clouds would be fun I'm not sure if I'm not sure if that one particular post is up or not but it had me inspired to do like one more last like summertime blend I felt like it would be a lot of fun to do like a summer night sky but without talking too much let's just jump into the look and for this look I'm taking the primal palette from Blend Bunny Cosmetics because it's one of my most favorite palettes already. I've used it. I just call my channel Blend Bunny Cosmetics Fangirl channel at this point because most of my videos I'm using the palettes from Blend Bunny Cosmetics. But I mean, you kind of have to because they're amazing. My lid is Primal with Gerard Cosmetics Clean Canvas in Fair. And I'm taking the Makeup Shack T66 brush in the shade Lethal from the Primal palette. And I am just going to go ahead and start to stamp that down, working from the outer corner of my eye and kind of doing like a little baby wing here. Just pat it down, little baby pataroos. So I'm gonna do it about like that. I'm trying to make sure my camera's not blurry. I hope it's not, because I cannot tell. But then I'm just gonna take it and start to apply it in the crease towards that inner corner of my eye. I have been so incredibly busy lately that I'm just like, I don't know what day it is. I just know that I'm trying really, really hard to pre-film a good amount of videos for right now because my birthday and my husband's birthdays are both coming up soon. And I would like to like have videos already filmed and edited. That way I'm not trying to pull all nighters or anything and be well rested and we can just enjoy some time together. So I've been working on that. And then I've got, I was trying to film my Ipsy video yesterday and that would be the 11th of August whenever this goes up and my memory card ran out and it was already getting kind of late and I was just like eh I'll do it Saturday or Sunday so I'm just like I still have to do that and then I want to start some fall looks are y'all ready for fall what kind of fall looks do you want to see because like I'm so excited to start working on some fall looks so with the Doe Color number 11 brush, I'm going to take the shade Huntress, and there is another fly in here. I don't know what's going on with flies lately, but there's so many. Like, I got, or like, I thought I had them rid of, and now they're back. Well, so I, I've just, I've been noticing them, and flies drive me up the wall. Anyway, I am just patting this shade down. I'm being a lot, I just chugged, like, half a Red Bull, and that's like... The only caffeine I've had aside from a cup of coffee this morning, and I'm just like rare and ready to go. So I'm doing a little baby patteroos, patting down Huntress, just very, very gently. And then right here on this inner corner area, I'm just gonna do a little baby, baby blends back and forth windshield wiper motions with the lightest amount of pressure. I found a picture on my phone phone of the looks that I did my hair was still blown so it had to have been early last year or late 2020 yeah and then I was like oh I love that color story it, like it's giving me like fall but sunset vibes and I was like ooh make it like a summertime sunset like with extra extra details and I was like you know what it's been a hot minute since I've done something like super super creative so I'm gonna do clouds little gleams little stars play with some terra moons because I just can't keep my brushes out of their shimmers they're amazing now I have that on I'm gonna go back in with I'm gonna take this the makeup shack t2 brush and take a little bit more of lethal and just Gently pack that on. Pat, 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 pat. Are y'all ready for Halloween? That's my favorite time. My favorite 
holiday. It's just like my happy place. I enjoy summer because I like to sit out in water and like go to the beach and stuff. It's like what I look forward to a lot. But I love fall. Pumpkin cream cold brew. It's Starbucks. Uh, the smell of the leaves and the beautiful sunsets the cooler temperatures and let me tell you it's been so hot lately but there's kind of like a cool down going on and i'm very thankful for that because it's been like i don't think it's gotten to 100 today and that arkansas heat the 100 degree temperatures huh, cook me like that's how i feel like i am cooked <laughs> okay so i've cleaned off this no color number 11 brush i'm gonna take the shade untamed and yeah Y'all, I am just bouncy today. That's okay. Sometimes whenever I talk a good bit and I'm just like rolling with it and I feel like I'm getting to like talk with y'all, it makes the editing process a little more fun. And I just like to chat with y'all because I consider you all my friends. But I'm just pat, 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 pat. And... I'm going to go back into Huntress in just a minute, but for now, I'm just patting it. Oh, y'all, on the topic of music, since I haven't gotten to that yet, Megan Thee Stallion just got a new, or just dropped a new album, and the way I'm about to listen to that while I work on my bass, because I've listened to a few songs off of it this morning, and I'm just like, yes, yes, yes. I love Megan the Stallion so much. So with that T2 brush from the Makeup Shack, I'm going back into Huntress and I'm just gonna pat it down. These reds in the Primal palette are everything and anything, like perfect reds. I'm seriously in love. And when I say perfect reds, I mean like, they don't really do that thing where red turns pink. Alright, I'm going to take, which brush did I use for that? I don't remember. I'm going to take the Doe Color Number 9 brush in the shade Ray, which is the beautiful yellow in this palette. And I'm just going to gently pat it. For my clouds, I use the About Face Beauty Matte Fluid Eye Paint, and it's the white one. The shade White Noise, and I like have been trying to figure out a good way to like use them and just like have fun with them. And I was working on oh, my chair so squeaky. Somebody call Hank Hill. But anyway, I was, uh, I was just like doing this look the other day and I was like clouds, 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 clouds. And I was like, let me try it with that. And y'all, it works amazing. And even once you get it put down, you can still like shade it to create like the depth and like make it look like clouds together and whatnot. It's like super, super bomb. So now I'm gonna take Prey on this La Rouge, no, on this Fara 3 Mini Taper Blending Brush. And I'm just gonna gently blend it out. It's the pastel yellow and I love it. It's so good. I'm going to touch up Untamed just a little bit. I'm just going to... Okay, so to carve out my crease, I'm just going to take this Beauty Creations Cosmetics Color Base Primer. And because it is black and I'm going to put the shimmers over it, I'm not super worried about totally cleaning off my lid or anything with the micellar water on a Q-tip. 
I just felt like making these shimmers a little more intense. They are amazing and intense on their own, but I wanted it to be just like a dark moment and the black base will definitely help with that. Alright, so now I'm going to dip into one of my other favorite palettes, this beauty right here, and it holds the magic. Oh. Okay, so enough sound effects for one moment. <laughs> I am going to go into the shades. I'm going to take, I'm trying to think, Martian Dust was definitely one. Martian Dust little spark sparkly sparkles flare star which is i'm probably gonna hit pan on this like soon because i use it like all the time it's beautiful neptune's diamonds which is <laughs> one of my other favorite ones it's so pretty and we have atomic division so i'm gonna use these four and they're beautiful so i'm super excited to go ahead and put them on <laughs> Let's see. For this, I'm taking my... Where did it go? I'm taking my Doe Color number 14 brush. And I'm going to start out with Martian Dust. And I'm just going to pump it on right here. And oh my gosh, do you see? Like, that's just a little bit. And it's like... Oh, I just... I don't even know how to explain it. Other than... I am about to like squeal because I love it so much. <laughs> Since I've gotten these new shades, I've just really used them on their own. And then I was like thinking about how cool they would look to do it this way today. And I was like, yes. Because they're, they're multi-chrome. So this just like makes them more intense, but it also like this isn't translating because in here with all the lights that I have on, it looks like red and kind of like yellowish green and then like a kind of like gold. But when I went into my kitchen earlier and I picked like I was looking at it because I got a little mirror and I was looking and I was like, because it's just like so different, it's beautiful. And I'm going to have to try my very, very best to finish this before the sun goes down. So that I can go outside and get a little video in the sunlight to include in this video. Because, oh. Well, that's if the sun stays out. It's been trying to rain today. Oh my gosh, did you catch the shift? Did you see it? Oh. See, forever. I was a mainly all matte girl. I've always loved shimmers. But like, duochromes and multi-chromes. Game changers. Like made me just want to use them all the time so now i'm just gonna take a little bit of flare star and pop it on right here blend it with martian dust just a little bit so now i'm going to take neptune's diamonds just pop look at that looky looky I used this with the Primal palette a few videos ago, and it's just, oh. I mean, look at that. I'm gonna take just a little bit more Flare Star to blend it. And then a little bit more Neptune's Diamond. Now I'm gonna take Atomic Division and look at that. So look at Atomic Division just sparkling and gleaming and doing its thing. It's so gorgeous. Now if there's a like details of the 
little gleamy, little gleams, stars, and whatnot. I probably won't talk. I'll probably make that bit of voiceover uh, because I, it's incredibly hard for me to talk in liner. And uh, I'm just taking a little bit more of ne Neptune's diamonds. there like that and that's about it except for I am going to add a little bit more of lethal to the equation here I'm just going to get it and then kind of pop it on like this so like this and I'm going to add some cloud details with the about face eyeshadow matte fluid eye paint and white noise. I'm just going to pop it on the back of my hand. I'm going to use a tiny liner brush. I believe it's a Suva. Suva 610 brush. And I'm going to draw some little clouds. And I'm just going to make this bit of voiceover because I can't talk and do it. So I'll try to like explain what I'm doing that way. Okay, so to do the clouds, I took the Suva 610 brush and some of the About Face Matte Fluid Eye Paint in white out. And, or no, white noise, my bad. But I just started kind of trying to make the shape of a cloud. So I start like with a circle at the top and then kind of do like circles on the side, but kind of extend them just a little bit. Try to, they don't have to be perfect because all clouds look different anyway. So just kind of start by stamping it down very gently kind of blending it just a little bit now with the red it is going to kind of turn the clouds a different color so with that you could just go over the clouds with a white eyeshadow when you get all the clouds like down if that's how you want to do it so right here i was going through the crease and kind of touching up the shade to make the depth because i did kind of take the cloud down a little farther and i just wanted to make sure that it was nice and crisp so then I'm taking a hot pink and kind of going over the bottom bit to blend it with the cloud to make it look like it's in the shadow. And then I took the white eyeshadow to go over the clouds to make it more white instead of pink. That way it just kind of blended together. And then I just took a little bit more of the pink to kind of blend it with the white so that it was more gradient. And that's also like what I do to create the depth between the clouds because I am going to layer the clouds a little more. But right here, I'm going in with my Devault Beauty Lounge Mantra Liner, and I'm doing little gleams, little stars, because I wanted to be like a summer sunset, kind of cloudy day, but the stars in the distance kind of thing. I felt like it was kind of cute. So I'm just trying my best to do like a V, and then extending it. It'll kind of look like the Libra sign. That's kind of what it reminds me of when I do it, but I'm a Libra baby. And then I connect it and do like the V, and then take it down and kind of flick it and then I just fill it in and that's how I do my little stars. I feel like I could have explained that better but I'm just kind of doing the V, giving it a little bit of feet, taking it from one of the legs and then connecting them and making another V if that makes sense and then just filling them in. Some of them I didn't fill in but however you want to do it, whatever you're most comfortable with, do it that way. It's a lot of fun. And here I'm creating a few more little clouds. I'm putting it kind of on the pink, but leaving some of it exposed. That way it just looks like it's just layered clouds, like a real cloudy day, but super cute. So I'm just patting it down and filling it in with white eyeshadow and then blending it out with the pink shadows to make it just look kind of like a hazy sunset. How many times can I say the same thing over and over, right? <laughs> but... I like to use little tiny detailed brushes for stuff like this because I feel like it makes it more detailed and kind of more cohesive. Like they just kind of helps it all flow together a little better. There was that fly. Oh my gosh. The flies have been awful this year. Anyway, so I'm just creating more clouds, trying to make it look like a really cloudy day and making sure I'm shading them in to create the appearance of depth and giving them some 3D kind of appearance and making sure that they look all cloudy. Clouds have been fun. I've been on such a cloud kick, but lately I've also been on like a space kick and I've been trying to do like a lot of stars. I want to learn how to draw planets. Okay, these are the beautiful eyeshadows in the sunshine.
Alright, so this is the finished look. What do you think? I feel like it definitely gives like a nice summer sunset, but like the details there's like yes, it's like it's a it's a night, the stars are out early, you can see them, but the sun's going down and it's it's starting to be fall. Like I don't know, to me, to me that's like how I feel. Cause I stepped outside and I got some golden hour pictures and I took a video of how these shimmers perform like in the actual sunlight and I was just out there like it feels like it's about to be fall. Like I'm I'm living, like I like this. I just wanna sit outside and have a little well we can't necessarily have a fire right now it's too dry but like that would be fun just sit outside have a fire listen to music everything like that but that was like the vibe i was getting and i'm like it's almost pumpkin spice season <laughs> but yeah i can't even take myself seriously what kind of fall looks would y'all like to see do you want me to do some fall looks with the primal palette do you want me to bust out the carnival four from be perfect and stacy marie do you want me to just like do a jumble of several different palettes or just bring on the fall or do we want some like more sultry softer and i, I say softer loosely because i have to be extra so softer is in like Maybe a neutral blend, but like a ton of sparkle, you know what I mean? But, I mean, if you want neutral, I'm definitely down to do that. I'll do, like, I like to do them every once in a while. But if I, if I do them a lot, then I'm like, I'm getting a little in a rut here. So, like, my, my soul is just like, give me all the colors, please. Okay, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to keep up with my awkward face and shenanigans while I'm not here on YouTube, I'll, all my social media is linked in the description box down below. And if you want to keep up with me while I am here on YouTube, then please hit the subscribe button. It means so much to me. And I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye!